Aboriginal Visual Arts, AVA. Well, I'm a student, first year student at that. I would say the age group, we have probably 11 from 11 or 12 from the age of 18 to 25 or 26. We have one that's older. I think the program is just to bring awareness like anything else, I think. Um, and to bring this, uh, the circle tighter and closer and to get back to the roots. Uh, basically, that's why I'm here. Um, I'm actually here a little bit different than now. I'm here for my children. I'm here for my traditions. I want to learn as much as I can. I don't know if I'll be a master at any, but I want to learn as much as I can so I can pass it on. So that's what it's for me. So I looked, uh, well, I'm at a different age. I'm a little bit older than the rest of the students, so I've been looking around a bit, and it just offers something different. And it's something very at home to me because I work with the uh, Wabanaki, so I am now seeing Passamaquoddy, so it ties in so much. And like I said, it once again, it all ties into my children. So uh, I come here um, because it fit me what I want to learn most. I want to learn the basket, the, the woodworking, the beading, the quill work. I want to learn it all because that is in our blood. So that's why I think this one is exemplary. And uh, just to get in, the, the profs uh, are amazing too. Um, they can't help enough. Uh, I can go on and on about them, really. Started in September, I've learned so much. Because uh, the program is different here. Um, like I'm learning to do my baskets and my weaving and my stuff, but what they do different here is they do it from the, uh, the, the grassroots level. Where, so we're actually harvesting. So I've learned how to harvest everything from birch bark to spruce root to sweet grass to, and that is one of the most important things for me personally is that I can go and actually learn how to harvest these things myself in the correct way, so we're not hurting anything, anything like that. But to be able to do it from the bottom up is, like I said, I w I'm here for my children, so the more I can learn, the better. And how in-depth they are here, it just goes hand in hand for what I want. I want to change. Uh, I've been working like everybody else. Uh, I worked for myself for a long time. Actually, I'm I was a massage therapist, I still am, and for the last 15 years. But like I said, and I'll say over and over, I need to change. I want something. I can teach my kids massage techniques. I can do all that type of stuff. But I can't make a massage therapist. But if I come here to the school and I teach them how to make baskets or, or beading, they can be a basket maker. They can be a beater. Like, and that's why. Um, I said I'm solely here for my children. And not just mine. I keep saying my children, but it could be seven generations down the road. But I'm here for them. For me, it's actually been I probably the harvesting part. I think is the most important for me. To, uh, that connection with Mother Earth mm -hmm. is uh, quite amazing. But I can go on and on with that too as well, because that's just the first thing I think of, and then actually learn how to do it. And like I said, it brings me a sense of pride, and I don't know a way to explain this, but I can feel it in my blood. So. If some things feel just like a piece of the puzzle and it fits. For me, it's just actually get back to my roots again. So it's learning indigenous ways and indigenous crafts. And yeah, basically that's it. I see it blowing up. I see it going. It makes me, a, it gives me a sense of pride. And I think that's going to catch on like wildfire. When I'm here, I feel very proud to be who I am and to pass on what I have. So... Uh, it empowers. Um, resources is a lot. Um, around here, like I said, the type of stuff we're doing, resources is a big part of it. So the more access we have to resources, I think it's going to make this course move faster. Like right now, it's basically who you know and who can get you in from arborist to we've been into the military a little bit, but it's because somebody knew them. We get in there and do some harvesting in there. So I think once that opens up, I think I think this Actually, this course is just ready to blow up. I think it's going to go... Gonna, I'm surprised that it hasn't blown up before this point, honestly. I just I thought I was getting in here late, but I see I'm actually getting in here early, and, uh, and I see it going a long ways.